Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at the Runcam Owl Plus. I've been looking for a night FPV camera for a long time because I live in Texas and the, the summers in Texas are crazy hot. As you can see today it's 98 degrees right now and it rained this morning so this is considered a cool day in Texas. So the only time I can really fly without sweating my butt off is early in the morning or late at night. So I've been looking for a camera I can run on my, my uh, quads that'll let me get a good picture at nighttime. So I've heard about the Runcam Owl um, probably, I don't know, three months ago. But then I was hearing that the, the Runcam Owl had good night night performance but the daytime performance wasn't that good. And then they came out with the Runcam Owl Plus which is supposed to have even better night performance and better daytime performance. So what I have here is the Runcam Owl Plus and we're just gonna compare it with the good old um, Foxier HS1177, which is pretty much a standard um, FEV camera. Okay, so let's take a look at what's inside. Get the camera here. And the camera comes with two two different backs. One, like this one, it has a little um, angle piece right here. This is the lens. So, this is the other kind of back you can use. Um, this one is if you want to mount it using their bracket right here and it lets you adjust the angle of the camera. Or if you want the traditional, like the um, HS1177, you can use this flat back, just remove these two screws and you can replace it. And then you just have a regular camera. And then it's also got this hanging, um, hanging bracket thing. Put it on like that. And then you can hang this one onto your quad and then from there you can adjust the different angles or you can mount it this way either way but I'm not going to be using these and then you got the um, OSD controls and the power cable good thing about the the run cams they come the power cables come with a nice soft um, silicone wire it's not like the other ones where it's super hard so the wires that they come with is, is really really hardy so let's take a look at the specs on the Runcam Owl Plus. The Runcam Owl Plus is a 700 TVL camera, meaning there's 700 lines of resolution going across the screen versus the HS1177, um, 1177, which is a 600. The Runcam is the same dimensions as the HS1177, 1177, which is 26 by 26 by 30. So if you use the the um, back adapter, which the flat one, it, it can pretty much fit any of the standard um, frames out there designed for the HS1177. And um, the, it can take um, voltages of 5 to 22 volts, so anywhere from 2 to 5S. And then um, the lens on this camera is a 150 degree field of view and it's an f2 lens so the difference between an f2 lens and most other cameras which is a f2.8 is mean that that means the f2 lens um, can let in double the amount of light as the 2.8 and then the most interesting part of the runcam out plus is the sensor the sensor on this this camera is a half inch ccd sensor um, capable of 0 0.0001 lux. The regular cameras, they all, they all use a one-third sensor. So the difference between a half-inch sensor versus a one-third is the half-inch is going to be a lot more sensitive to light and is going to allow a lot more light to hit the sensor. And technically, it's supposed to have better resolution. But um, we'll see how that goes when we put it in the camera and go for some test runs. In these two videos, I'm flying in a normal parking lot around midnight with regular parking lot lighting. Please ignore the static 
Anytime you fly in parking lots like this, there'll be lots of interference. So as you can see in the video, the Owl Plus stayed in color almost the entire time in the dark. It only had to switch to black and white when I flew into the really dark areas not lit up by street lamps. And the HS1177 was about 50-50 black and white in color. The colors on the Owl Plus look much better, but notice the halos around the street lamps against the dark sky. The HS1177 had the halos too, but not as bad as the Owl. The sharpness was almost equal, but maybe the HS1177 was slightly better. It's hard to tell in the videos here, but when flying at night, I prefer the Owl Plus for its ability to stay in color. So the Owl Plus wins at night flying. So now when you compare the two cameras in the daylight, it's a different story. These videos were shot about one hour after sunrise. So look at the colors on the HS1177, they're much more accurate. Just look at the green grass on the HS1177, whereas on the Owl Plus, it's green, red, and orange. So the Owl Plus has a lot of color noise during the daylight. So the color saturation is much better on the Owl Plus, but I prefer the neutral look on the HS1177. Dynamic range seems to be better on the HS1177 also. Dynamic range is the difference between the brightest and the darkest parts of the image. The contrast is much too high on the Owl Plus, making the image look dirty. Again, I prefer the more neutral look on the HS1177. So if you're looking for a camera specifically for night flying, the Owl Plus is a good choice. Otherwise, the HS1177 is a much better all-around camera. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.